Alright, what's poppin' people? We're back. And because I feel like protesting the fact that I, as an NU council member, should have to ladder to get Rex to vote, to show that I'm still in tune with the metagame, I'm gonna ladder on a non-Rex account. Because that is much less annoying when I lose. <laughs> no, but really, I don't know why that was ever changed. Any, I guess asking for scrutiny of council members and their activity is bad or something. But... Let's go over the team real quick, because I made this semi-recently, and admittedly, I feel like this would be a better team to bring in a tournament setting. Because it's Feature Ground Glastre. Now, this Pokemon's got a pretty bad reputation in NU, because it's... We, <laughs> we banned it immediately when it dropped, and then Suspect tested it immediately, because they're like, this looks like it could be broken. And it ended up not being broken. It was still pretty strong, people felt, for a while, and then it just kind of fell off the face of the earth. It's gotten a little more respect lately, and by a little bit more I mean it got used in, in an UPL game once. And it basically 6-0'd the matchup, because Glastray against a lot of those Vaporeon teams is really good. You can Sword Stance up really easily behind your substitute, you're able to EV in such a way so that your sub won't be broken by a Scald, and a lot of those teams, just the way they're built, end up not having the best of answers to this Pokemon. And that kind of is why I think this might be a better kind of team to use in a tournament, where you're more likely to face something like that, you know, standard bread and butter balance look, compared to Ladder, where you'll face just a lot of offense, really, and then just random assortments of six Pokemon that realistically should never be put together, but still get put together. Yeah, we got Glastra, and just a lot of nice, you know, normal things. Mudsdale, Rotom, Vap, Talon, Standard Core, and then just a nice little Scavular Last. This is Nasty Plot, Rotom Mo, by the way, because I felt like the team needed another way to win a game. Anyhow, though, as per usual, if you've been enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We actually hit 2,100 subs sometime today or yesterday, so that's cool. Pretty quickly after we hit a thousand, not a thousand, pretty quickly after we hit 2,000, so hopefully we can keep going up. Again, the end of the year goal is 5k, so let's try to hit that. Anyhow, this is actually looking like a pretty decent glassed matchup. I mean, we're looking at my opponent's team. This one is kind of nice with it. Um, I don't know what I sub versus, admittedly, but I don't hate this matchup. I kind of also just like Rotom as a lead. Now, I am EV'd to have 8 HP EVs. That just means that this can't two-hit KO me with Brave Bird. Now, I have a Citrus Berry, so that wouldn't matter anyway, but hey, you get the idea. Ah, I mean, if I'm my opponent, I'm probably U-turning into Jergalgy. And they do. I get my Berry. This is an offensive Talon Flame. This is an offensive Talon Flame, so that U-turn you turn does less, obviously, than your other moves do. I'm gonna go Glast here. I don't see an item, so I'm wondering if it's boots or specs. I'm gonna roll the dice and say that you're, um... Say that you're not gonna be faster than me. I wanna sub here and just see what he does. Because if his response is to go Talon Flame, I don't think he breaks my sub. Well, even if he breaks my sub, he's gonna be... Like, nothing good. Okay, I think he's, um, Specs. And we do get the three hits. Nice! Okay. So Glass J actually starting off pretty good. Getting us a KO. And if I'm my opponent, I... Maybe go... I mean, again, this Talonflame has attack EVs. But I... I almost want to say that it's going to be one of those cases where they just click the auto-fill in EVs thing and they'll like still be just straight up the utility set, so they'll have Will-O-Wisp. If they go Stoys, I think I just attack it. If they go anything else, I think I just have an advantageous positioning. Because um, yeah, I mean Mudsdale, I could probably even just Swords Dance versus and not care too much. Because the most it's going to be able to do to me is go for Body Press. Is this still the same mute? No, it's not. Huh. I didn't press loop, but it is still Glitch X City. Nice. 
And yeah, my opponent's thinking real long and hard about this play. And I mean, I may as well rant a little bit more about suspect tests and why I think they're fundamentally flawed real quick. Um, really, the long and the short of it is just this. I don't think the latter, particularly for lower tiers, and maybe it's just an NU thing, but I don't think that it is. But I don't think that ladders are indicative of the actual metagame. And I feel like that is a just issue that makes suspect tests kind of troll, especially when you're looking at it from the super qualified position. And what I mean by super qualified is just like someone that's in council, um, people that are being really successful in tournaments lately. I just feel like if you're one of those kinds of people, you don't really stand to gain a whole lot from suspect ladder. You've already shown in other ways that you know what you're doing in the format, and so what's really the point of having you go out and ladder? I'm gonna switch, by the way, here, but I don't know if I actually need to. I needed to. That was a fantastic play on my end. But I feel like we could do with giving out requi voting requirements just by default to some of these people. I don't know what Endure means, by the way, for this Pokemon. But, like, I personally feel we should be letting people, like... Council should probably just get to vote, right? If you're on Council, you know the metagame. I think if there's a suspect test going on, and there was recently, like, an individual's tour, well, I think the winner and probably some other people within, you know, pro not just the winner, but, like, top eight at least, probably should just get automatic voting requirements. Um, you're not Mystical Fire. You are. Huh. I I'm not actually surprised by that. But I feel like that probably makes sense. For example, right now, too, we're having it so Ladder Tour accounts also qualify people for voting. And I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm also just gonna sack Glass there. Uh, last move... Roost, probably, here. That's fine. But I feel like little things like that would make a lot of sense, because I think... From what I've been told, there are people that don't go for, um, suspect wrecks just because it's annoying. You know, you're asking someone to do a whole bunch of laddering, and oftentimes the ladder is really low quality. So I could pull up a lot of replays that I saved on my suspect wrecks account. This is, like, max bulk. What in the hell? Um. But yeah. I could pull up a lot of my, um, games that I saved and just showcase, yeah, this is the kinds of games that we're playing. Also, I might lose to this mon here, but fortunately my opponent is not making full use of the turns that I might protect. Okay. Why is my skull doing so little? <laughs> But I feel like that would go a long way. You'd make people feel a little bit less ambivalent about the whole process. Or not ambivalent, that that means more neutral. You make people feel less negative about it. And I think that would go a long way. Oh my god, this mod is actually so annoying right now. I do get a wish off. I knew it was gonna shell smash there, but I don't have an option anyway. Um... And think, let's sack the Rotom, and then go back out to Vaporeon to protect again. But I think that would make people happier about how the process works. Am I biased? Of course I am. I just don't want to have to waste time laddering against, frankly, just teams that aren't really telling me a whole lot, you know? You know, I pl obviously I played a metagame enough anyhow to develop my opinions and have them be relatively well informed. And I think that laddering does help a certain section of the community, which is why I'd never suggest, oh yeah, just completely do away with laddering and just limit <laughs> getting requirements to vote to people in tournaments and the council. Yeah, because that sounds like a great way to piss people off. But I do think it should be less obnoxious for those sorts of people to get to vote. Also, I have to just scald here. You know... I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to ask for me to get, like, one burn throughout this entire sequence. Um... I might lose this game, by the way. <laughs> oh, no! This isn't looking too good for me. 
he's just gonna Dark Pulse again. I was gonna double into Vaporeon. Okay, my opponent would have let me double to Vaporeon there. For no reason at all. Other than for fun, I guess. Didn't get it. Alright, my opponent choked. But I guess I was supposed to predict them to choke there. That's, that's on me. I should have still made the read. Yeah, I mean, hey, let me know your thoughts below on how you feel about suspect tests. Do you generally think that the format that's used is good? Do you think we should try to get more people to qualify? I don't know if I finished my thought about the ladder tour, because I feel like I got sidetracked once the Blastoise started shell smashing. But, like, for example, right now, we're letting people use a ladder tour account as a suspect test account. And so, one of our tier leaders is verifying those sorts of accounts as the wrecks get posted just so those people could still keep laddering on them for ladder tour but i think that's a cool way of just trying to be more inclusive with how we get people to um vote because i'll be frank i can't imagine too many of those people would want to do both at once yeah on this matchup looks oh my god stop leading rotom i'm just gonna go into my escavalier man i don't care they never leave storm here by the way they're always volt switching but this is the smart play this is the intelligent play, and I say they're never Volt Switching here because for some reason... Actually, no, they're never Leaf Storming here. Because for some reason on Ladder, every Rotom Mo I face always Volts on the Mudsdale. This one is different! Um, He'll Volt here if he's not choiced, more than likely. Uh, that burn doesn't really matter at all. Um, are you Blitz? I don't think you are. Yeah, give me another knockoff. I think the Rotom Mo is probably not Scarf, though. He has a Passimian. Well, though, he did hard switch, so maybe he is. Because, yeah, I mean, he could be just trying to bait me, which would be fair. He goes into Mudsdale. I get a knockoff on that as well. That's really good. I'm going to go into my big Glast. I'm Swords Dancing up. Let me sub. Just, okay. I mean, I have a Mudsdale, so maybe he just views this mod as expendable anyway. Hey, why didn't I kill that? I'm gonna body press here, because I don't want to, um... What's it called? I didn't want to, uh... Go for Earthquake if he went Rotom, and then get nothing out of it. Yeah, this is the nice thing, by the way. He's actually forced to, um... He is Scarf. Okay. Um... I don't have a Scarfer on my team. Huh. Who do I want to give the Scarf to? I guess I have my Rotom. As he switches out. I have his Talon's boots knocked, so I'm actually pretty content. I'm gonna Volt again here. The way I went Rotom might make him think that I am, um, Scarf, but I'm not. I'm Citrus Berry. And there's also a chance he thinks I'm itemless because I have no amazing switch into Poltergeist. Yeah. I think, honestly, Rotom Mo, by the way, low-key, probably should have been what we banned. He's, well, not banned, but Suspect Test as opposed to Dragalge. People seem to be more on board nowadays with the notion of Rotom Mo broken, at least, so that's good. Um, This faints to Rocks. This would faint to Brave Bird. I think he has to go Rotom Mo here. I'll just Brave Bird to deny the um Talon Flame a switch. Because he's probably going to want to try to uh, defog with his Rotom, assuming it has defog. And I'd like to try to uh, punish him for letting me knock Talon's boots for free early on and then set rocks without him ever fogging away my rocks. I think that's how we continue to press our advantage. And high key, I feel like we've seen multiple examples of um, opponent, not opponents, players failing to press advantages in, in UPL. I can name like three games off the top of my head where... In my eyes, a player played super safe. Or not super safe, but a player didn't play proactive. And as a result, I think they were maybe opening themselves up to losing games. 
that at the same time there in each of those games that I'm thinking of the advantage that the slower player got was so huge that I don't even know if I can flack them that hard you know as I think there's something to say about recognizing when you're in an unlosable position just being like yeah um opponent what are you doing there I wanted the wisp just to get like some extra chip yeah you can't switch that in okay but I think there's something to say about recognizing once your advantage is like nigh and nearly insurmountable that is a skill in and of itself and nice we do get a win so maybe it's not even a bad thing for them at the same time though I feel like if your opponent plays aggressively enough there's always a chance that they're able to claw their way back into a game and punish you for playing too slow this is another game where, in theory, Glast should ream my opponent. And I'm gonna lead Glast. There's no way your specs faster than me and can Oko me. <laughs> I don't even know if I tank Brave Bird from this. I should probably EV this Bond so that it can, um,. Do that, but then I'd lose too much speed, and I like being fast. Right now, like it's EV'd for um Vaporeon Scald, right? Okay, that's not how that works, friend. But I'm gonna Icicle Spear now to punish you for Willow being a substitute. Yeah, I think it's a skill. I think that is a skill. If you could just tell from a point, it, it's kind of like how on Team Preview, right? One of the things you should always be doing is analyzing both, not like analyzing not only what your win condition is your win path but your opponents too so if you're able to figure out okay my opponent loses this pokemon they literally cannot beat me anymore i think that's a skill um ladder tour player this team is boring as hell i'm leading glass i have a feeling this is going to be spextra galgy here that shouldn't be too big a deal so like for example here I guess I could talk about what I imagine the wind pass are. His is going to be Ground Valley. I feel like Ground Valley doesn't need too many conditions met for it to sweep. I mean I don't know though. I'm a bulkier glassed, right? Like I'm max HP. So that could be a bit of a nuisance for him. I'm also going to have an Escavalier that going to be a little annoying to bypass. Mudsdale of course is a thick, thick lad. Uh, he goes in this. I'm just gonna Icicle Spear. I don't think I lose anything by doing that. If he tricks me a Scarf, that's unfortunate. But at the same time, I like to punish my opponents turn one by removing a threat if I can. <laughs> you know? I mean, having a Scarf is... I mean, at least it means I'm always faster than Galgi. I don't know. I could have subbed on that. Wow. You ain't faster. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Alright. Nice. That did so much. <laughs> Just don't crit me here, friend. Just don't. Don't even think about it. And I think he has to Leaf Storm here, right? No! It barely breaks. That's a high roll. Oh man. I mean, Ice School Spear is still gonna give me a lot. Of I think Ice School Spear gives me a KO here, because I'm at plus four. I mean, if he goes stack attacka, he's gonna have to what? Try pivoting around me? Oh, and he gives me the Ground Valley. Awesome. I love that, actually. The way he went into this tells me that he is guaranteed faster. So I'm gonna just go into my Scavalier and knock. As per usual, we're okay with the Talon getting knocked, and I'm gonna stay in here. You're not Flare Blitz. I, I just know. I can read my opponents like a book. So now we're gonna do this. We're gonna Nasty Plot up, because we know they're always gonna go for the Protect, and now we Volt! Go back into Glast, try to get a little bit of health back, and now go into my Rotom. Surprised a little bit that he Volted there, but that's okay. And if he ever goes into Dragalge, we just Volt. 
as he goes for Draco and crits. Wow, I think that's a weird Draco to make, because I can always go a Scavalier and just go for rest. It worked, but wow, I think that's a bad play. I don't know if I agree with that, Draco. I think you try to keep momentum up. You know? And yeah, of course, my sub will not break to that, so that's cool. Was hoping that somehow my sub would um <laughs> take another, but that was obviously a pipe dream. Dragaja comes back out. I still value the spawn. I mean, yeah, I have this, and obviously that is specs, but like... Knock that again, obviously doesn't do anything. I'm gonna just wake up and knock. I'm gonna go for another knock. Oh, he was Citrus Berry. Okay. This is a time where I wish I was like Swords Dance, you know? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that was funny. I'm a brave bird now. He scalds. I'm surprised that you'd scald there, frankly. Um... Problem with going glassed here, it's not great. I What I need to do, I think, is just keep leveraging my Rotom. As, as you see there, my Rotom is incredible for me. So let's, let, let's keep leveraging Rotom Mo. Hmm. Icicle Spirit, because I feel like he's going to try to dance around this mon. Yeah. Don't don't let him dance. Do not let them dance. I actually dodge a Draco there, which is pretty cool. I'm going to stay into knock. As we knock a stack as lefties. We don't Oko that, though. That's unfortunate. I feel like I definitely threw my advantage this game, by the way. But I also think a Scavalier might be able to sit in front of his team and win, so I don't know. Uh... I was at the vault here. And now we just try to not let the Escavalier or the Dragology back in. Oh my god! On the of course! Immediately, he is able to get it in. That is so cringy, man. Actually, just so cringy. And, of course, he's good. Man, I get. I think I did throw this game a little bit. Wow, I'm, how are you getting so lucky with these attacks, by the way? Oh, let's not accidentally do that. I 
I definitely threw this game a bit. But at the same time, man. Like, that was mostly just me throwing Vapo away. If I don't let Vaporeon just get Dracoed by Dragalge, then I don't think my opponent can ever find a way back into this game, you know? You know, he's saying he's so bad. I don't know, man. I... Nah, this game's always me winning if I don't give him Vapo. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, God. If I just blast there, I won. Surely you can't land five in a row. This is Dragology, by the way, did not hit, f <laughs> hit four in a row. All right, now we just gotta, come on, please. Thank God. Uh, do we win this now? Oh, we do. Okay, that was a bit of an unclean game by me. I'll be, I, again, I'm gonna be straight with y'all. I don't like lying and trying to play like, oh yeah, I played this game perfectly. I, I wanna at least be honest when I play bad and I think I should've, I, like I said, I should've had this kid packed up in a bag, toting him off to the airport. But, oh, man, almost completely through this game just because I gave him that. Man, I thought he'd flip turn, you know? Though, at that point, I'm not sure if I had revealed yet that I was rest on a Scavalier. And that gave him maybe a little bit of reason to not try to keep momentum so hard. I think if he knew I was rest, he might have flip turned more just to try to not let him... This Cavalier completely momentum suck him. Also, though, I mean, let's <laughs> let's get let's get something straight too. It's not like his team breaks the Cavalier super consistently. I feel like maybe him Dracoing repeatedly is just him trying to be like, okay, let's at least keep this mon low. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Of course, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already. We are trying our best to make it to 5K by the end of the year, but I need y'all's help. Until next time, I hope you're having a lovely day, and I'll catch you then. Peace.